Hello students, welcome to the eternal easy education channel. In this session, you are going to learn chapter 1, Multimedia and Desktop Publishing, part 4. The main thing you are going to learn in this session are steps in multimedia production. It's a 5 mark for you. Steps in multimedia production are conceptual analysis and planning, project design, pre-production, production, testing, documentation, delivering and multimedia product. Is it clear? We are going to see one by one all the steps. I'll repeat the steps again. Conceptual analysis and planning, project design, pre-production, production, testing, documentation, delivering and multimedia product. So first step, conceptual analysis and planning. The process of multimedia making begins with the conceptual analysis and planning. So what is the analysis and planning? Before we create a multimedia product, we should identify the important things. What are they? Appropriate theme. What is the theme for our product? What is the budget for the product? What is the content availability for the product? Copyright issues regarding the product. For example, consider that you are going to release a racing game. Everyone likes game to play using the system or the mobile. So, if you are having a plan like that, it is also a multimedia product. So, for that, I have to choose the theme. For example, if it is a car race, you have to choose the theme. Whether it is Formula 1 or 2, uh, how many, uh, what is the, what is the distance, what is the standard for that. I think most of the boys were well known about the racing games. So you should select based on that for which category you are going to create that. Then the budget. So if you want to create that, we should know the budget. In the budget also there are many categories. We have to decide based on that. For example, if you are going to create a car race game means, first we need some softwares and hardware for that. So we must know what is the budget to purchase that or how to get that everything. So content availability. If it is the same thing which is in market, it won't be, uh, it won't be a welcoming thing. Then I have to design a new thing. Then you have to think for the content availability, how to make the game more interactive and innovative than copyrights. So we should not do a thing which was already in market. So we, we must have a separate idea of our own and we must know how to get the copyright issues. That means how to get the copyright for our product. These things should be analyzed in the first step itself. That step is said to be conceptual analysis and planning. So now we are ready with the car game and the theme and we are having a rough budget and we should we, we are able to identify the uh, content which is going to be placed in that game and for the copyright issues whether i can claim the copyright or not what are the issues in that where i have to approach whom i have to see everything i have to think in the first step itself next step project design so First step is about the planning. Next, I should know the objectives, goals and activities. What is said to be objectives? General statement are termed as uh, goals. So, general sta uh, statements are termed as goals means car race. Okay, It's a general statement for the product. It's a goal. I am going to create a product for car race gaming. Okay, fine. Next, the specific statements. That means I have to decide whether the car is for 4% or 8%. Uh, what are the 
participants in that player whether he is able to participate only uh, in a eight track or it should be in a web dis uh, in a networking whether like your pubg whether someone have, can co accompany with the game likewise i have to decide next activities or series of actions performed to implement an objective these activities contribute to the project design phase that means complete scenario first stage how many of them should be there if it is a mm, if it is a failure or if someone is a foul someone is out then what is the next step everything step by step all the activities should be designed from a starting to the finish position then our plan we know we know the steps for the game then pre production before the final product that is said to be the production i should know the pre production based on the planning and design it is necessary to develop the project i should know the budgeting multimedia production team should be there hardware software selection defining the content preparing the structure somewhat elaborate from the design but it is not the full form of product but in the pre production itself we will get a complete scenario for the product so again the steps are dividing so in the pre production itself we are having budgeting multimedia production team hardware software selection defining the content preparing the structure we will see this one by one in the pre production budgeting budgeting for each phases like consultants hardware software travel communication and publishing is estimated for all the multimedia projects this is very much important because without the uh, required hardware and software and communication and publishing of the product we cannot fulfill our dream so i must clear with the things what are the hardware required what is the cost for that what are the software requirement what is the cost for that how much it should be traveled what is the communication between the production team and the market team everything should be finalized with the budget budgeting team so hardware software is okay then i should decide that means the production team for the higher end multimedia project requires team efforts the team comprises of members playing various roles and responsibilities like that means he, here the human resources needed for making the product to live so production manager content specialist script writer text editor multimedia architect computer graphic art, artist audio and video specialist computer programmer webmaster it, this multimedia production team alone is a separate question for you it's a five mark question important question here in this uh, procedure we are just knowing the persons who are all involved in multimedia production team we'll see this uh, elaborate in the next video now here we'll continue with the steps then hardware software selection probably this is very important nowadays because multimedia is mainly with the computer related or interactive things so we must be very clear with the hardware and software selection our multimedia application requires appropriate tools to develop and play back the application hardware includes the selection of fastest cpu and ram and huge monitors this is important because if the ram is very low if the cpu is very low in performance then most of them will not like the product because it's taking such a long time to load i don't like this this is very slow we will get a comment like that so we must be very clear with the content which ram which type of cpu that means processor is we are going to use selection of suitable software and file formats depending on the funds available for the project being developed 
so multimedia is mainly depend on this hardware and software selection for the reliability feasibility and for the livelihood for a long time so we must be very careful in selection of hardware and software defining the content so in the defining content content is the stuff provided by content specialist to multimedia architect with which the application is developed who prepares the narration bullets charts and table etc that means what is displayed on the screen while the product is live this is main for the content so the de defining the content should decide <coughs> should decide and design the thing which should be displayed on the screen next preparing the structure a detailed structure must have information about all the steps along with the timeline for the future action this is very important because without updation and modification we cannot withstand our software for long term process so it is important to have this timeline for future action this structure defines the activities responsible person for each activity and the start and end time for each activity that means after designing after selection the software hardware software after selecting the content the steps who has going to design this should be split in modules and each module is in a detailed structure and the person who is involving in the designing structure should be explained or written clearly that is the preparing of the structure that means based on the structure only the person is going to execute if the first person has to execute the first structure means or the module the first team has to work out that then only the second team has to work so it's very important to frame the structure and function on that is it clear children so we have seen the pre production steps now we come to the production so after the pre production activities the production phase starts this includes activities like background music selection sound recording and so on that text is incorporated with ocr software picture shot by digital camera video clips or shot edited and compressed uh, i hope you can understand this production with your film making have you seen that app they will say shooting is over only the uh, post production is going uh, oh, it's it has to start production team is working means they are, they will do the re recording background music dubbing these things will be done same like here also after completion of the structure these things are involved in production then testing so it is not compared with the film making because testing is merely compared with the product it's very very important before releasing because we know the plan we designed that then we have done the pre production now the production is over then before coming to market the product should be tested completely if we fail in testing then our product will be a great loss the complete testing of a pilot product is done before the mass production thereby avoiding the failure after launch if it's a web based product its functioning is tested with the different browsers like internet explorer chrome mozilla netscape navigator if it is local multimedia application on a lan it must be deployed in the server for testing purpose what is the meaning is if our gaming product is for the networking means i have to test the game installed in server and it should be tested with the client things in the networking area sometimes there will be some problems regarding that so it should be cleared in the testing process itself if it is a, a product should uh, that is in, going to be released in the internet means i have to check with each browser whether this product coding is supported by internet 
uh, explorer or chrome or mozilla sometimes they will say this html coding is up, not supported here so our product should not get such a error thing so to clarify this that product should be tested after production part this is very important because for example think that you have purchased and released a car with a new model if a person who has to test the brake has failed to test the brake in many steps he, te he tested the brake sensor only for few steps he didn't um, check it for other steps means uh, for controlling the car in 180 kilometers or 200 likewise depends upon the power of the engine if he failed to test that means after launching the product if it is in sale when the customer is using the brake for at a uh, in a particular speed and it is not available to control means think about the family think about the person and think about the product which is in market then it will be a complete failure so everyone has to then retake the car so it is a big loss for the fa um, company so testing is important before launching the product if you are saying that our game is very good uh, at a time four people can play at a time hundred people can play if we say like that then it should be tested and it should be confirmed before it is launched next documentation it's very important because the documentation has all the valuable information starting from the system requirement till the completion of testing. Contact details like email address and phone numbers are provided for technical support and sending suggestions and document comments. That means without the documentation, this product cannot be revised or renewed for further process. So each phase should be documented completely. Then there is a style to document every coding. They will instruct the style to form the documentation. Next, the last step, delivering and multimedia product. So delivering means our application are best delivered on CD or DVD or in website. Being a multimedia product, it must be able to deliver in CD or DVD or in the website. In reality, various cha challenges are faced while delivering through internet like bandwidth problems, huge number of plugins required to play audio and video and long downloading time. You might face all these things. Nowadays, in this quarantine period, many of the people are, feeling, are facing this because of the online classes online meeting the bandwidth is low your internet internet is unstable likewise many problems are coming finally a multimedia application is delivered in a more effective way by the integration of two mediums so the game is ready and it is going to be released in cd or dvd or in the website so these are the steps in the multimedia production. We'll have a recap. Conceptual analysis and planning. Simply, it's the total planning for the product. Then what is the project design? It is designing the goals, objectives, and the activities, coordinating all the things. Then what is pre-production? Early stage of the production. Then what is the production? Pilot product. That means the product is ready for launch, but it is not launched. Before that, it should be tested. So testing before launching the product for all its errors. Documentation is valuable information related with the product. Delivering the multimedia product is delivering the final product in CD, DVD or websites. I hope you understand the concept. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this channel, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.